Hey everybody, Dark Young Link here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. In the last episode, we reached Goldenrod Town, but as you can see, we're not in Goldenrod Town, we're currently in Azalea Town again. Why did I return to the place full of bad Iggy Azalea puns? Because I want to catch a Pokemon, and the best place to catch the Pokemon is right here. Yes, I want to use Headbutt on a tree. And it would be pretty amazing if I could get the Pokemon I want in one go. Well, that was a fail. So I'm just going to headbutt some trees and wait for some Pokemon to appear. I'm not finding anything. Aha! And we found a Spearow. Not even remotely what I wanted, but that's fine. At least I can show off what's in here, maybe. Let's try more trees. The problem is there's so many trees in this town that probably don't have anything in them, and I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. So, Spearows, I had to look this up just for the sake of the Let's Play. But Spearows are the most likely things to come out of trees. So if you're looking for a Spearow, uh, headbutting trees is the best place to look. But here we have Heracross. Heracross is the Pokemon that I wanted. Sadly, it's level 4. I'm going to try to put it to sleep. Because the problem is, I don't really actually, I do. I was going to say I don't have any Pokemon to attack, but I do have this Rattata. So let's, uh, let's hit it with the uh, Quick Attack. Well, that didn't work as I hoped, but that's fine. Let's get off another quick attack. We just need to weaken it as much as we can. It doesn't matter if it kills or tatter or not. I don't really care about it. I'm not sure if it's faster, which is why I'm just going to keep using quick attack. Don't kill it, please. Do I want to risk... Do I want to risk another quick attack? Okay, I'll do it. Probably going to regret this. Oh, you son of a Rattata! Ah! Rattata is literally the worst right now. It's not even another hair across. Oh, hey! Uh, we found an Apom. Apom is a normal type Pokemon. Um, that's about it. I don't care about it, so I'm going to run from it. I think it has an evolution at this point. Like, in Gen 2, it didn't have an evolution. In Gen 4, it does have an evolution. But I can't say that it's going to, if it's, uh, if it has its evolution in this game. And we have another Apom. Yes! Alright. Finally. Redemption. This time, I'm just going to have Kaipori use Hypnosis. And we're just gonna chuck some balls at it. So... We have the friend ball. A ball that makes caught Pokemon more friendly. I might try to catch it with that, but... Uh... Let's just throw a normal ball at it.
I didn't expect that to work, honestly. We might have to send out Rattata again. Rattata- oh, right, Rattata's really weak, I didn't heal him. Whatever, it's fine. Um, Rattata, use... Uh, never mind, don't use anything, just die. That's fine. <sighs> See if I can get an attack off with Togepi. I doubt this will work, but... Wow, that was a critical hit. That was pretty good for you, Togepi. Let's just throw a ball at it. Ah! Oh, so close. Oh, uh, we ran out of Pokeballs. I don't want to waste a Great Ball, but eh, let's do it. Great Balls have a greater chance of catching Pokemon, a uh, better chance of catching Pokemon anyway, so... It didn't even shake. Great. Um. Send out Dax. What do, Like, the thing is, I can't attack with anything or else it'll die. Let's try the friend ball. Let's see if it wants to be friends. One. No! It does not want to be friends. I'm going to waste all of my Pokeballs on this, aren't I? Oops. No, don't fight. Guess we'll use our other Great Ball. One. Two. No! Come on! Heracross! Please! Uh, I don't know how fast it is. It's probably not very fast. We're using it anyway. One, two, come on, man! I'm wasting all of my Pokeballs on this guy. Well, this isn't gonna work because it's not a fishing Pokemon, but I gotta catch it anyway. Gotta try. One, nope. I only have one Pokeball left. I can't waste it. One, two, three, yes! We caught Heracross with our final Pokeball. Uh, the powerful Pokemon thrusts its prized horn under its enemies' bellies, then lifts and throws them. That just sounds brutal. Uh, what do I want to name Heracross? Okay, so... I consulted a friend who named him for me, and uh, his name is going to be M U S H I uh, King Mushi King. Which he says it's based on an anime card game about battling beetles. So, Mushi King is your new name. I, I hope you enjoy it. He probably won't enjoy it. Okay. And if that this episode is 16 minutes long, that sounds like a good place to quit. I've been Dark Young Link, and I'm just teasing with you. I'm actually going to start a new recording so I'll be back in a bit and here we are back on route 34 I decided that I'm gonna fight these trainers because Mushi King needs a lot of experience for the upcoming battles but first let's take a look at him on the way back here he grew to level 5 because I took him through Elix Forest we look at a summary he's an adamant nature he's highly curious he's got tackle leer horn attack and endure and his attack is amazing so special attacks not too good but 
he's a fighting type, so he doesn't have to have that good of a, you know. Also, he has Swarm, so it powers up Bug-type moves in a pinch. How to be sure to teach him some Bug-type moves. Actually, now that I think about it, I think I do have a Bug-type move I can teach him. I think. Bullet Seed, Taunt, Roost, you turn No, actually, never mind. I don't have anything I can teach him. Unless he can learn Bullet Seed. No, I didn't think so. So there's nothing I can teach him right now, but that's fine. So I'm gonna speed up and play some music. Um, if I see a new Pokemon, I'll stop, but... Uh, he's not strong enough to show off his abilities yet, so I'll wait a little bit to do that. Oh, well, this guy has a new Pokemon, Snubble. Snubble is a normal type in this game, at least. Um... Later on, it becomes part fairy type in Gen 6, which is funny because it evolves into a Grand Bull, which is like this, like this purple bulldog, like this giant purple bulldog. In fact, my friend, re like the friend that named Mushi King, really hates Grand Bull, or at least he hates the fact that Grand Bull is a fairy type Pokemon because fairy types are cute, I guess, and. Gramble just does not fit that description of cute for him. Oh, and I guess mom is calling now. I found a useful item shopping, so I bought it with your money. Wow, I'd hate if if I like had my mom look after my money and she bought me stuff. I mean, yeah, it's nice, but it's a little rude. All right, continuing on. Oh, this kid has a Mankey. Mankey is a fighting type. That's really, really all there is to say. It evolves into Primate, which is a pretty cool Pokemon, but. Other than that, there's really, really nothing of interest about Mankey, especially since uh, he'll go down in like one hit. I forgot that Kapora got paralyzed in the last battle, and that's going to be a hindrance for this. Oh, and he has a Diglett, which is another pretty cool Pokemon. Diglett is a ground type that evolves into Doug Trio, and I actually used a Diglett in my Fire Red playthrough, so obviously I'm a fan of Diglets. I could send in Kapora, because Kapora is the second lowest level since Dax is the highest, but being paralyzed it just does not help him much, so. Also, Diglett's at level 12 don't know Dig, so it's very sad for it. Oh, and I guess Mushi King evolved, or doesn't evolve. Mushi King wants to learn a move. It wants to learn Fury Attack, which attacks uh, two to five times in a row. So uh, let's get rid of Leer for that. Oh, well, I wasn't expecting this, but I found a Drowsy while walking around in the grass trying to get to the next trainer. Drowsy is a Psychic type, which Psychic type completely own Fighting type because of the whole Brains over Bronze thing. So I'm just going to have Dax beat it up for, for, uh, for Heracross for Mushi King. And, yeah. Okay, this girl has a Poppet, which is a grass type. Oh, it's also level 9, so this is actually a great time to show off Mushi King. So we'll use Horn Attack, which is a pretty strong attack for what it is. 
It's the strongest attack he has. But I think I'll also show Fury attack, even though it's probably only going to hit like two times. Oh, I got a critical hit, so I wasn't completely wrong. I'm a little surprised, but I wasn't wrong. Oh, and she has a Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is a grass-type Pokemon. It's one of the starters from Gen 1. Um, I don't think Mushiking is going to fare very well here, so I'll just switch into Kapora, who I who I healed before battle, luckily. I'm not sure how much Bulbasaur could have done to Heracross, but I really did not want to take that chance. It's fine, though. And she has another hop up, so back to the music. Oh, and another new Pokemon. This guy has a Psyduck. Psyduck is a water type. I know it's water. Um, I think think it's also uh i think that it's also psychic but that could also just be its evolution golduck that's part psychic i honestly can't for the life of me re remember but psyducks are pretty pretty strong psychic types if i remember there's obviously other better Psychic types, but if you want a Water Psychic, Psyduck is definitely your guy. And it looks like Kapora. Whoa, wants to learn Confusion. That's pretty cool. Confusion is a Psychic type move. It's actually pretty strong. So we're going to get rid of Reflect since I rarely ever use Reflect, even though... Reflect could probably be very important for the next gym, but you know what? I think, I think I'll take my chances. And this guy wants to exchange phone numbers, I'm going to say no. I added the last picnicker because, one, she wants to be my cheerleader, and two, she'll give us items. And I'm not sure what items she'll give, but I'd rather have items than more battles with weak trainers. There's a ball over there, I'm going to rush it. TM63 Embargo. I think that makes it so that you, uh, well. Well, during this battle, Mushi King leveled up to level 10. Anyway, like I was saying, Embargo makes it so that Pokemon holding an item can't use their hold item. And it also makes it so that trainers can't use items. Which sounds really good, but I don't think I'll teach it to any of my Pokemon right now anyway. For now, I'm going to stick to what I have. So now, uh, we're going to look around Goldenrod City a little bit. I don't know how long this episode is. I know I sped up a little bit, so it should be fine. I wonder how many kinds of Pokemon there are in the world. A long time ago, Professor Oak said there were only 150 different kinds. Since then, many new Pokemon have been discovered in different regions. There are almost 500 different kinds of known Pokemon now. Well, you know what they say. There's at least 150 or more to see. To be a Pokemon master is my destiny. Anyway, that girl was just talking about type advantages and that guy's talking about online battles. He also mentioned the trainer card, which we're not going to look at right now because it has spoilers for gems we haven't been to. Here's the department store. We're going to hold off on going here. I know I said I'm going to show off Goldenrod City. I'll show off other parts of Goldenrod City, though. This is the Goldenrod City Game Corner, where we can play slots. Okay, I was wrong. My name is Mr. Game. My heart pounds with the excitement of people enjoying my coin game. In fact, that's what I live for. You look like a challenger. Why don't you play my coin game? So, we can get fabulous prizes. Let's try it. And he gives us a coin case. Show me how you play, and my heart will pound with excitement. Alright, let's give it a shot. 
Uh... I need to know how to play. I don't think I ever did this. I was expecting slots, so... How to play. Voltor Flip is a game where you flip over cards and find numbers hidden beneath them. The cards are hiding numbers 1 to 3 in Voltorb as well. The first number you flip over will give you that many coins. From then on, the next number you will find will multiply... Okay, if it's two, you're... Yeah, if it's three, you'll be multiplied by times three. But if you flip a Voltorb, your game's over. So, and if we quit, we get to keep all the coins we've had. Once you've found all the hidden two and three cards, you've cleared the game. Okay. Uh... Let's do it. Oh. Well, we don't have any coins to play, unfortunately. So we'll have to try again another time. Oh, we can get Pokemon for this. That's pretty cool. And we can get technical machines. Substitution. Eh. I might want Flamethrower eventually. Maybe Ice Beam and maybe Thunderbolt. But that would take forever. And I don't think I'd ever be able to do that. I don't know why I can't play. I don't. I think it's because I don't have any, any coins. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's try this one. I got one coin. I got another one. This game is kind of like Minesweeper in a way, except yeah, it's basically Minesweeper. Which, I really suck at. So, we're not going to do that. That's the only game I'll probably ever play of that. If I want the TMs, I might do it off screen, but I doubt it. So, this is actually a pretty big town. This is the tunnel. Oh. Well, apparently, Lyra's here. Hi, DYL! You're just in time! When you follow this tunnel, you'll see a dress-up shop. That's where your Pokemon can put on accessories to dress up and take pictures. By the way, here's the fashion case. Did you want it? I knew it! It's a present from me! So, yeah, we can dress up our Pokemon. That'll be fun. There's some shops downstairs, but there's also trainers. Well, that sounds like something to do another time then. I know I said I'd show off town, but I'm only going to show off a few different places because there's a lot to do in town and, you know, she's talking about Bill and how he made the um, PC or whatever. Bill was a very important player in the first game, sort of. He was the one that held your Pokemon. He also had a side quest in Red and, or Fire Red and Leaf Green that I forgot all about. Uh, this is the radio tower. There's a Ka Johto Kanto magnet train line, which we can't use right now. And here we have the radio tower. Which... Yeah, we can do stuff in here. Welcome to Radio Golden Tower. Or Goldenrod Radio Tower. This is the Pokemon Lottery Quarter. I'm Felicity, your attendant today. If the drawn number matches the ID of any of your Pokemon, you can win fabulous prizes. So, every trainer gets an ID. It's been that way for like the longest time. Wow. Wow, Mushi King! So, yeah, it, they choose a number, and it, if your Pokemon has the same number as your trainer card, then you get that prize. However, if you trade with other people, that Pokemon has the other trainer's numbers, making it easier to win. So, she's going to give us a quiz. Might as well try it. Can you check the town map with your Pokegear? Yes. Nidorina can only be female. Yes, because Nidorino is the male counterpart. Kirk, the Pokeball creator, uses apricots as ingredients. No, they're apricorns. Tch. 
<laughs> that was almost a trick question. It's impossible to use a Tiamon Magikarp. I don't think so. Oh, wait, really? You can't use a Tiamon on a Magikarp? No wonder they're trash until Gyarados. And one more question. Professor Oak's popular talk show host, is he on with Marie? No, I think it's Mary. Yes! So now we get a radio card, so we can listen to the radio anytime we want. Wow, you did it! I thought the answer to the third question was surely apricots. Oops, it's time to go back to the gym. Oh, she's the gym leader. I actually forgot about that. So if I would have tried to go to the gym without coming here first, that would have not been very good. Uh, we can explore the radio tower a little bit, I think. Lullabies on the radio make wild Pokemon fall asleep. That's why you don't see many Pokemon when the radio plays lullabies in tall grass. That's basically a hint saying, if you don't want to battle, do that. Save the blue card points for some chance prizes. Hi, I'm Buena. Did you know the radio show Buena's password? If you can tell me the password from the program, you'll earn points. Save up those points and trade them with that sweet young lady over there for some choice prizes. Here you go, it's your very own point card. Okay, well, I don't know if I'll ever do that, but I might show it off eventually. Sorry, authorized personnel will only be on this point. It wasn't that way before, there's something wrong with the director. Well, that's all good, dude. Yeah, I don't know what that guy was saying, and I really didn't care. <laughs> He's not important. Um... You have a PC here, so you can take out Pokemon if you have a whole bunch of traded Pokemon, so you have a better chance of winning. There's a new bike shop, we can probably check that out eventually. Oh, we have the Name Raider, if we ever want to change our Pokemon's nickname. That's a pretty cool looking house, though. Oh. Sadly, we don't need to talk to him. We have all the nicknames we need right now. There's the gym. Here's the flower shop. Apparently, there's an odd tree on Route 36. They say it dances when you water it. Oh, of course not. This is a flower shop, so we have watering cans and things like that. But I cannot let you have one. It's too dangerous. Hmm. Maybe if you... And manage to defeat Goldenrod City Gym Leader, it might be okay. So, you need to defeat Gym Leaders for reasons other than story progression, apparently. Sometimes a healthy Pokemon is maybe unable to use its moves. If that happens, heal it with the Pokemon Center or an item. Once while I was battling, my Pokemon couldn't use any moves. The power points or PP of its moves were all gone. Yeah, that sucks. Anyway, I think, for right now anyway, this is all of Goldenrod we can check out. There's a little bit more, but we'll have to go underground to do it. And, oh no, hey, look, we found this place down here. It's a hidden area. Although it's just talking about using items. Okay. Okay. And here we have, oh, the bike shop that I thought we couldn't get to for some reason. Good sir, I would like to buy a bike. Yeah, I'll advertise. So now I have a bicycle. Which we got for free. I love free things. So what we can do here is we can go to key items. And we can either use the bicycle, or we can register it. If we register it, I can push the Y button, and now I'm on a bike. But your Pokemon will not go on your bike with you. So, it's kind of dumb. I'd much rather walk just to show off my Pokemon. And down this way is... The global terminal. Oh. Well, this is where you would battle trainers online and 
do a bunch of online stuff, but one, this is, well, it's not up anymore, and I can't do it on this, obviously, so it's useless. Other than that, all we have left is the department store, which I'll probably show off next time. But for now, I'm going to grind up Mushi King a little bit because... Wait, Mushi King's holding something? Uh, okay, we got a green scale. That's pretty cool, I guess. Pokemon can randomly hold items. But yeah, I'm going to train up Mushi King a little bit because in the next episode, we're going to go to here. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I can just go underground and train. That's right. I don't know why I didn't think of that. So for real next time, we're going to go check out the underground. And we're going to check out the department store because there might be something interesting there. And then if we're super lucky, we're going to go fight the gym leader. So until then, I've been Dark Young Link and I will see you guys next time. Bye.